Hello America, London calling. You know what they say, charity begins at home. It's good to help someone else if you can. Every little helps, whatever you happen to be wearing at the time. We send Susie along to speak to some sisters who are doing it for themselves. So today I'm here at the Phoenix Artist Club where the music video for charity single You're There is being filmed, which is in support of the fabulous London-based charity Cancer is a Drag. So let's go downstairs and have a chat with all the wonderful drag queens that are involved in today's shoot. I'm now here with Alan Bug, the founder of the charity Cancer is a Drag. Thank you so much for talking with us. And um, I um, set up the charity uh, one year after I was diagnosed in September 2010. Um, I had lymphoma, unfortunately it was uh, stage four, and we tried lots of different chemos to get rid of it and it kept coming back. So I had lots and lots of time off of work and then my financial situation got quite bad and I thought, I realised at the time that lots of other people were going through this so I decided it was time to do something about it myself while I was off. I'm luckily in remission now, I've been in remission for two years because oh, I had a stem cell transplant from my brother which was really good um, and we set up uh, Cancer Drag around 2012 mm -hmm. um, because I love drag, I love watching drag and being part of big drag family, even though I'm not a performer myself. But you look so good in drag, you should be. <laughs> I've, had a, I've had a professional person help me out today. Uh -huh. uh, Diva Vera, who's my, my alter ego, has always wanted to come out in the last four years, and um, so she's coming out today. And uh, yeah, we hope that uh, when we bring the single out, we can raise money and awareness and help lots of people that are suffering. Yeah, my name's Glenn. Um, I'm a very old friend of Alan. We go back about <laughs> years. Oh, wow. Um, oh, a few years ago, when Alan was going through his cancer treatment, he rang me up and he said, Glenn, I'm thinking of starting a charity called Cancer as a drag and he said I'd be honoured if you design the logo oh. so I'm quite touched by that so I just thought right I really really want to make uh, an impression mm -hmm. so I wanted the awareness ribbon to be part of the logo because it's an international symbol yeah, that's like the world so I thought yeah. right how am I going to do it so I was doing some research looking through the web and then I saw this picture of a dominatrix in thigh high boots yeah. standing with her legs crossed like this. And it, all and it just went bing. <laughs> and your character <laughs> is? Bambi Boo, Queen of the Dam, and Dam herself, because no one books me. <laughs> <laughs> and where are you originally from? Uh, South East. Thames <laughs> Mike! <laughs> well, my name's Bag of Chips, Hello. and I'm salty. I'll batter your sausage for ATP, and I love to be covered in daddy's sauce. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm a cabaret artist um, around the country. Your name is? My name is Sugar Cube. Sugar Cube. Yes. <laughs> and you look like a walking sugar cube today, yes. let's be fair. <laughs> yes. Um, so I did it for a pack and of pork scratchings <laughs> and a pair of tights. <laughs> <Can't see. laughs> uh, my background is musical theatre. Did successfully in drama school, and uh, uh, I ended up playing princes or ladies or so. Not, so. <laughs> so it's a natural between, progression. It's been a gradual progression, <laughs> a downhill slope. However you look at it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My name is Queenie Essex. I am from Southend on Sea. I'm one of the Essex girls. Um, the character really is basically a man hating divorcee. Because <laughs> I do hate men, I am a divorcee, so it works perfectly. Uh, my name is Stephanie Von Gillitz for the purposes of TV. <laughs> uh, I am known as the Dorset Tarp of the Heart. Lovely. So uh, I perform in, I live in Brighton now, but okay. I travel around, I do shows in London, Essex, Kent, travel around the country and stuff. My name is Kitty Malicious, um, I am. A raging diva. <laughs> I perform with the girls on tour in Essex okay. and I perform with the girls on tour, Cancer the Drag, uh, with Queenie as the ambassador. Mm -hmm. um, I generally go on first as I'm most likely to offend. <laughs> so get that out of the way. Yeah, they get me out of the way nice and early <laughs> as I'm just when they send out into the crowd to liven them up and oh. insult them. <laughs> so what have you been doing for the charity and what's your involvement? Well I'm actually the ambassador of elegance for the charity. We've got oh. like certain ambassadors. Yes. And uh, yeah, and um, basically I've done I organise quite a few um, 
charity events at my um, residences. Yeah, this year at the London Gay Pride, we had a big double left bus on the float, and there was I don't know how many dragons were there. Overwhelming. I think we uh, actually won two prizes for the best clothes in the brain. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. There's so many more events coming up soon, so... It sounds like it's a success already, and it's just going to continue that yes. way. You're looking forward to what the future holds for this charity, because it seems to be Absolutely. going so well, you know? Oh, this is it. You know, there's so many different things now. It's coming with the charity, with your text going out. Uh, that has been a marvellous thing for the charity. Also, because the... it's so easy to just. Oh, this is it. Cancer is a really good part of my like, my, my parents' family. Um, um, so it's very close um, to your heart. Yes. Definitely. So, and actually, one of our track colleagues actually um, lost a battle with cancer uh, last, at the end of last year. But I know that the charity to help him. Previous family members of mine, you know, battled cancer, and I've seen the funny struggle they've been through. Mm. Um, and I, I didn't know there was actually such a charity out there like this. It's an amazing charity, and to look at the financial side of raising money towards helping people financially, mm. and people living with cancer, it's amazing. It's, yeah. Um, I mean, my mum was diagnosed with cancer, and I was just itty little drag queen, oh. and she passed away, and there wasn't any charity that out there that was giving that support. You just raise money. The drag queens perform and raise money for a um, fabulous charity, Cancer's Drag. Any final words to the audience? Um, follow us on Facebook and look us up online at www.cancersdrag.org. Um, we're doing lots and lots of things. We're becoming very mainstream and we really want to help other people. So if you can help us, we'll help others. Thank you. That's it for this week. Back to you in the studio zone.